In this lecture, I will give an overview of uh, the applications of RPA in accounting. Um, so far, we have learned all the fundamentals of RPA, but we haven't gone in depth of uh, how RPA can be used in the accounting world. And uh, here are some background of the applications of RPA in, um, in the business world. So from a survey conducted by Deloitte, um, in 2018. Uh, it's an outdated survey. Uh, the data has to be new now. Uh, but at that time, we see that uh, the accounting finance, um, these are the functions or departments where RPA uh, is being de uh, deployed heavily and followed by operation and the human resource. And we also see that the internal audit or the general audit function is considering the RPA implementation. So now you may ask, OK, can you give us a list of the accounting uh, activities that can be automated? So now uh, the answer to that is that there is actually no only recipe of uh, the tasks in accounting that can be automated. Uh, you guys already learned uh, uh, what RPA can do, right? So basically, the tasks that RPA deals with need to have the following features. And as long as an accounting task has these features, then it belongs to the scope of RPA, right? It doesn't matter what this task is. Uh, so these are the features. First of all, the task needs to be definable, which means you can list the steps of uh, conducting this process or task. And then um, the process needs to be very standardized, right? Uh, which means it's following the rules or rule-based. And uh, the task that you're automating should also be repetitive. Otherwise, there is no meaning that you want to automate something, right? You also need to have machine-readable inputs, uh, such as the PDFs, the Excels, um, because you cannot automate something that's only from the paper, right? Unless you first scan the paper and save that uh, as a PDF and then work from there. So these are the uh, premises of uh, a task being automated. So as long as an accounting task has these features, then it has uh, the potential to be automated. Um, but if you want to have a list, these are the areas or the functions where RPA has the potential. So we know that uh, the tasks in accounts payable, in accounts receivable, and others, uh, including budgeting, forecasting, uh, tax, payroll, these are very repetitive and uh, these areas could be um, uh, automated by RPA. Um, so one example on RPA in accounts payable, uh, which means uh, accountants dealing with invoices. So in a manual procedure, an accountant would go to uh, the email, for example, Outlook, to download the invoices uh, in PDFs. And then uh, the, uh, the accountant usually manually extract the customer information um, and uh, copy and paste that information to other applications, such as Excel or uh, some accounting software, uh, such as the QuickBook. And then uh, they need to cut a check for the vendor and send the check to the vendor via email. So this is the manual process, and uh, I use a flowchart uh, to visualize this uh, process. And in an RPA world, um, we can mimic this whole procedure, right? We can build a bot that logs into the Outlook and get all these invoices, and then uh, do a PDF automation to, um, to get the data to different places that we want. And we can also add an email at the end to send uh, anything that we want to send to the vendor, right? OK, so from this week, we are going to learn more about RPA in accounting by, um, by using different case studies. 
So from here on, the projects that we work on will be more complicated than before, because in the first four weeks, we focus on building the fundamental skills. Uh, but from here on, we are going to use cases and to build more complicated bot.